All right, we are live. Woohoo! Right. Cheers, y'all. Cheers, cheers, cheers. And I'm sipping on still lost in blue corn bottled in bun. What are you sipping on? Uh, I'm sipping on a, a sample from uh, Eric Gunderson. I think it's called Pengrin. It's a it's a Welsh single malt. Huh. Finished okay. in Madeira cask. Awesome. That's quite good. I don't know that I ever see it around here, but it's quite tasty, though. Well, I tell you this. I don't think Big Daddy H is going to make the show tonight. No, is he slacking? Uh, well, uh, he went to Hot Springs with oh. a group of, group of guys. So oh. um, he is going to. Oh, yeah. Who's that guy? <laughs> hey, let's call out the elephant in the room. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> well, I went to trimming, you know, to get it a little bit shorter. And then uh, I trimmed up some more and it didn't look very good. And then uh, I goofed up. I was trimming right here by the mustache and I cut off just part of the bottom of my mustache. So I'm like, ah, heck. Just yeah. mm, clean it all off, start back over. Start over. It'll, it'll grow back here real quick. You, so you I ain't need worried a about it. Steady hand. I, I trim him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 bad at trimming. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, we have. Uh, I got to talk about these hashtags tonight before I we get started here. So coming up this Thanks, month, uh, I think it's April twentieth, somewhere <laughs> along in there. It's a several day event, and I know there's a lot of controversy around it. Um, there's a lot of uh, I think conspiracy theories around around it, but. The San Francisco Rural Spirit Awards are happening in April, coming up. And uh, I know a lot of people say things like, oh, it's whoever sponsors the, or gives them the most money gets the gold or whatever, right? But regardless, mm -hmm. it's a thing. They're doing it. And so I'm going to highlight the 2023 bourbon sum of the winners of those bourbon categories tonight. So, and then we'll get ready for the 2024, you know, coming up. And regardless of whether it's rigged or not, I would love to be able to go out there sometime and, 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 yeah. and you know, be involved in some of that. Because, uh, yeah. you know, it's huge. I know when I went to San yeah. Francisco, uh, we always went, and I went for RSA security conference. I, I do computer security. But uh, we would take up all these rooms in the, in the Moscone Moscone, however you say that, conference center there in San Fran. Huge. Thing is huge. And uh, Mike Brock, I, I know I haven't been shouting out anybody. I, we have Sugar Kitty. We have Jimmy's Random. We have Becca Mud Tramp. We have, of course, you, Deland Robbins, John Kranz, Slapshots Roadhouse, Cheers, Mike Brock. I, I, if I miss somebody, I apologize. Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for the shaving it off and losing you know five ten years of uh getting getting youthful for five or ten years i kind of prefer the the beard to a degree you know that way uh it's a little bit more you know i get a little bit more respectful that way i guess you know people look at me now and they go oh he's a freaking young guy he's probably what 40 something or whatever i'm like no <laughs> no <laughs> Yeah, Willie Moscone. Yeah. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> I, I always said Moscone, but it's a M O S C O N E. So however you mm -hmm. however you pronounce it. Moscone is how I pronounce that. Yeah. And he was a dang fine folk pool player. Yep. But Peter Fulton. here's something we're starting tonight. Um, we we brainstormed it last week, uh, Mark and I did, and, and this is this is what we're gonna do. So the super chats that come in go for the halfway mark giveaway on April 25th. But what we're going to start doing is giving away samples every week. One ounce samples. And I'm going to go ahead and play that little intro for that so y'all can see it. Okay. And here we go. There we go. We got three one ounce samples. 
we'll give away. So uh, it, it's uh, this week uh, is Mark's choice. Yep. So we will, uh, and next week I'll do it, uh, give away some some stuff. So that's how that works. Now, what will happen? And I have the little bourbon wheel thing up. If any come in, I'm going to write them down. I'm immediately going to enter them on the wheel for later for when we draw for the samples. But you're, regardless of whether you win or not, you're still in for the halfway mark. I mean, that that's a totally separate thing. But it gives a little immediate gratification to that stuff. But without further ado, let's get into this part of the show. All right. And before I get started, I will tell you, I, I've highlighted, uh, there, there's not that many categories for bourbon. So I had to come up with 10. So there, there was some like winners in there and I've highlighted like two in, in a few sections. But uh, one, one, the first one that comes up is, was the clear winner. But the first one tonight is for the category of, this is 2023, this is last year's, uh, was for best straight bourbon. And it was for Blue Note Juke Joint. Now, I don't have that on me. I'm probably going to pick up a bottle of it uh, on my way through. But uh, that's in Tennessee. And he has the Juke Joint. And I have the other one, uh, the Blue Note. Oh, here it is. Crossroads is the one I have. So I'm going to pick up a Juke Joint when I go through. But um, I'm going to drink some of that Blue Note Crossroads here, here in a little bit. But anyway, that's it for four entries. There we go. Now, this one looks like that. Yep. Uh, mine's a, a store pick from Liquor Depot, but uh, it's it's quite tasty. This one is. This one's a one twenty one point eight proof, so it's a little higher than your normal one that you get, but quite good. Here's someone saying hi from Facebook side. Um, I'm glad hey, to Kathy. see Facebook is working. When I logged on to uh, Streamyard earlier. All right, yay! Uh, when I when I time. logged on <laughs> to Streamyard earlier, it said there's a problem with Facebook. Facebook knows about it that you may not mm -hmm. get messages or da 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 da. But I, it's good that looks like uh, they have that worked out. Yeah, Phil says he's at work. Hey, Phil! And good if to everybody doesn't know, Philip Patterson is everything spicy on YouTube. So mm -hmm. uh, make sure you check out that channel if you have not. Oh yeah, I'm a member. Mm-hmm. I hope that uh, I hope that uh, Blue Note Crossroads is as good as that. Uh, it won't be still lost in blue corn bottled in mine. Uh, completely different. I mean, they're they're completely different. But oh, I oh, uh, I can I can handle completely different. I meant same uh, ish quality type. <laughs> oh well, yeah, the quality is about the same. You know, I yeah. think uh, I lean a little bit more toward the the still Austin. Um, but it's, it's the blue notes quite good though. I mean, it's, uh, it's your normal bourbon type notes out of this one. A little sweet, you know, you get, uh, uh, what are you getting here? <clears throat> the normal, the caramel and the, the vanilla, you know, it, it comes up. This is a little hotter though. I mean, 121 proof. So it's a definitely getting yeah. more of an ethanol nose on it. Yeah. Um, this Probably one just here. needs a little more time in the glen. Now, the good thing, though, um, this doesn't say bottled and bond on it, the Blue Note Crossroads, because I don't have the juke mm -hmm. joint. It still okay. is 100 proof, but it's uh, yeah. toasted French oak. Oh, okay. That was the Crossroads. Nice. And that was the, uh, I think that's why they named it Crossroads, because it was uh, French oak in there. Yep. We got um, the French with the, the American. I did get your text uh, earlier, uh, your IM or whatever it is uh, on Messenger. Fulton, yeah, I did. I uh, have not had time. I, I'm pretty busy on Thursdays, Fulton. Uh, I got a, I'm, I'm running around. Uh, yep, Mark, yes, uh, that's the elephant in the room. Mark did. Uh, he doesn't have a steady hand, so when he tries to trim his stuff, he makes gashes and shaves it off. <laughs> yep. I just start over. And the wife's happy about it. You know, she prefers me like this, but I, I don't care for it myself. Yeah. You know, everybody's different, so you know. That it tay true. I'm, well, I'm gonna try it, but... to keep it more like Jody's uh, 
now, you know, once it grows out a little bit, I'm going to try to keep it trimmed back a little bit. Oh, no, I, I, I shaved I, the mustache off, Phil. Come on. What are you talking about? 70s porn star. <laughs> <laughs> no, I all I did when I when I cut off the bottom of the mustache, I'm like, well, I'm gonna leave the mustache. And then I, I'm like, oh well, maybe not. You know, it looks a little rough. <laughs> and I was getting that '70s vibe out of that, so you know, yeah, I, true, I, Becca. We, we used to take, uh, uh, you, you you remember records, you know, on a record. Mm, oh yeah, I got a bunch. Mm -hmm. And we used to take those, uh, and I still had a record player when I when I was. Uh, I was somewhere in the early nineties. I mean, I, I just messed with it, you know, like I didn't listen to it all the time, but we got to putting those records on there and we'd play some old 70 stuff on there. And then as it was playing, we'd put our finger, you know, on the, uh, the paper part of, of a 72 and kind mm -hmm. of down on it and make it drag a little. And we would just keep doing that. And it sounded just like old porn music. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Uh, I've still got my record player and, you know, boxes of records. I've got a bunch of different old records, you know, from the old, you know, Z Led Zeppelin fourth album, you know, with the, the big liner notes and all kinds of different old albums. Oh, Jimmy said you, you're not really you. You're one of your kids. I don't <laughs> have any kids. Yeah, so. I was going to say his babies are furry all over. <laughs> yeah. I got I got three little fuzzy dogs, but other yep. than that, I don't have any kids, which suits me just fine. All right, if you missed the hashtag, it is uh, this one right here. We are covering. It's a hashtag B N J J for Blue Note Juke Joint uh, from last year's uh, uh, San Francisco Spirit World Spirit uh, competition. Uh, because it's coming up next mm. month uh, in San Francisco. All right, Phil. All right, Phil. Drive safe. And uh, uh, I'm going to pour some of this. Easy. I don't have the juke joint, but I will put this one. All right. Sugar Kitty, which one was the, the Zeppelin album that had all the, like the, the hotel windows or whatever it was on it? I don't can't remember the name of that one. And I never saw that Alice Cooper record, but he's going to be down here in, in Austin here pretty soon. I'm, I'm liable to get some tickets to that one there. No, Kathy, I don't trim my dogs. They all got short hair, so I, don't, I ain't got to mess with them. <laughs> mm. Physical graffiti. Thank you. That's why I, I just could It wasn't coming to me. I, I knew what it was. Uh, I think I've got yeah, a copy yeah, yeah. of it. That's a good album. I remember that album with all the, yeah, it was the, the a side of a building with all the windows yeah. and stuff. Yeah. All the windows and different people. Hey, cheers, Tater Dom. Tater Dom, how's it going? It's not a bad cigar. Uh, is that the, uh, uh, uh qu quorum? Uh, yeah, quorum. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, I'll probably end up getting some of those. Uh, they're pretty common. You can find them in the cigar shops and stuff around. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, there's a, I'm oh, if y'all didn't one. see, I'm looking for one post. of the older ones I used to smoke back in the day. It was uh, Vasco da Gama. I haven't seen those in a while. I, I, I did post a video to members, and then I made a short out of it, cut it way down. But I posted the whole video out. I, this is my humidor right there. It's the corner of yeah. it anyway. Right That's there. like a sweet. <laughs> I need one of those bad. Yeah, it's 68 degrees and 70%. Just hold it right there. Yeah, I think it'll, I'll probably wind up getting one of those, um, after the F1 event, mm. I usually wind up getting a little bit of extra cash flow that yeah. around then. So that's when I'll, I'll probably order that thing up. Yeah. All the old Zeppelin albums are good. Oh yeah. That, I'm, I'm a Pink Floyd fan from way back too. Yeah, we went, I remember we went, uh, I was in tech school in the Air Force, and, and we were still doing tech in Colorado out uh, for the uh, cyber stuff, or, the, or not cyber, crypto. And we went out mm -hmm. to the side of a mountain, blah, 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 and all that junk. And uh, But we, we had a week off in there, and we went to Winter Park. Uh, we, we rented a van, and we all chipped our money in and you know went out. 
and we were somebody brought Pink Floyd albums, and we were listening to Pink Floyd and playing yep. games, and and it was it was in the middle of winter. Well, it wasn't in the middle of winter. It was like January, February, February. It was February when we were there. That's middle of winter to me. No banks were tall, and we were drinking a lot, and we were upstairs on the balcony, and they had like shoveled, kept everything shoveled out to go in the, the, it was like a condo thing. We were on the end and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was like a three bedroom thing or something. And, and but we were up in the master bedroom upstairs and it had a balcony that yeah. went out there and the snow drifts were so tall. They were right at the bottom of that balcony. Yeah. And we got to dare in each other stuff and somebody said, I dare you to take off all your clothes and then jump in and slide down the snowbank. Well, and it looked yeah. easy. And yeah. dude got up there, dangle, dangle, jumped on top of the rail and went like this to slide down. And he just went like, looked like Bugs Bunny outline of his body straight down into that. that <laughs> snow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That was it. <laughs> and then he was digging his way out because yeah. you know, uh, trying to get to the. My buddy out in Colorado, he's got kind of the same thing where you know, the basement area is, if you go out of the basement, there's a hot tub area underneath the porch, you know, mm -hmm. and the snow will come off the roof and everything else. And then by the time, you know, uh, midway through the season, you know, it's. Horrible. It's solid, you know. There, it's mm -hmm. a, it's like a snow cave under there, where oh, the right. the hot tub is, which is freaking awesome, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the that's when you go off and and you can get into the hot tub naked, like you're supposed to, you know. Not right. Because you know, ain't nothing worse than getting in a hot tub when it's cold out, you know. Like when it's you know twenties and thirties with a suit on. Oh my Why god! Because as soon as you get off? out, you're slacking. Didn't set the alarm. But, you know, oh, we get out of the hot tub when, it, when it's cold out and you got a suit on. Oh, my God, that thing is so cold because your body's all hot, you yeah. know, from the water. Well, I have to uh, spin this thing because it's two minutes late. So uh, here we go. Good <laughs> luck, everybody, uh, for these four you, inches. I'll send you pictures, Kathy. Delane Robbins. Oh, nice. Delan got in there. First right. one tonight. Got that one. And I'll set the next one up. And Cheers, we'll Jerry. get on through these. It's no big deal tonight. We have time. We'll work it out for the end. Hmm. Yeah, that that juke joint's not bad at all. No, and that, and this is like, that crossroads is actually pretty darn good. The next one though is same category. It's just a different one uh, highlighted uh, that came in top. Well, you know whatever in that same category, uh, and I thought it looked interesting. I'd never really uh, heard of it before, but Fox and Odin. Uh, mm -hmm. So it, it won uh, up there. It, the juke joint beat it out, but this one came in right behind it in that category. It's an interesting looking bottle and it's dark for sure. It's double oaked. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it's, that. Uh, this juke one makes me want to compare it to like a Henry McKenna, you know, the tenure. Yeah. This one with that French oak, uh, the, uh, yeah, toasted French oak, uh, reminds me a lot of like that Thomas S. Moore and, and a couple of other ones over there. Hmm. Hmm. Let me rinse this glass out. And Very tasty. A little something else poured off in here. All right. So now that now that we have a bunch of people here, uh, I'm going to do do this hey, right. Hey, Edward. I'm going to do, do do this right quick because it really helps the channel. And I'm oh also going to announce that. Um, so, so we all know the halfway mark is coming up in April. It's coming up April 25th. 
So what we're started doing here is uh, anyone, and, and that's supers only. If anyone does a super, if, if not, that's fine. But uh, if someone does a super, then you're entered into that drawing plus you're, you're entered in tonight for a three sample giveaway. So we're going to start giving away three uh, one ounce samples uh, of, of uh, maybe what we're drinking tonight, whatever. But, but this was Mark's week to put that together. Um, and uh, yeah, I had a little intro for that. I'll just play it one more time. <laughs> All right, and Jimmy's in there for that. Now, what that is going to do is uh, 10. Uh, so it's, it's two, two, two for everyone, so that's 10 entries. If Jimmy's the only one at the end of the night, then Jimmy gets the samples. There we go. But I am going to put Jimmy down here. Oops. Well, let me fix that. There we go. Got it. And Mark is gone. He said, be right back. All right. So he's going to be right back. But um, that's what we're doing. A little immediate gratification. But even if you win the samples, you're still in for the uh, for the halfway mark giveaway. Let me get Kathy down here. And Jerry Arbaugh. Right. Okay. Let me uh, put these in here, and then uh, hopefully Mark will be back. And because uh, I have to type all this stuff. And uh, there's that one. Oof. This is why I don't normally do this. <laughs> that's all right. I got them in there. No, no big deal. Got them in there. And that's just for the wheel for tonight, for those three samples. And then, uh, but again, you're still entered into the halfway mark giveaway. All right. So here we go. Come back to roost. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's going on. It may be a technical difficulty. I have no idea, but uh, I'm sure he'll be back soon. But again, tonight we're doing the, the San Francisco uh, World Spirit Awards are, are going to be next month. I think they're around the 20th, around in there. Of course, it's more than one day uh, in April. I know there's a lot of people that uh, say, hey, you know, it's whoever gives the most money, da 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 da, -da. But uh, um, it's still, it goes on. But like Jimmy said earlier, I think all award shows are rigged, but whatever. Somebody's sitting there tasting that stuff, but I'd love to go just to walk around and uh, have someone carry me home in a wheelbarrow at the end of it or something. Mm. What is going on? Is it from North Carolina? Green kids wanted to drink. Oh, the little drinks. Yeah, that, that would probably would not be good. Well, the grandkids. I hope I'm still on. <laughs> uh, now everything looks uh, solid from my end, unless y'all can't hear me. Hopefully, you can. Um, hopefully, we're not having that bad of technical difficulties. Okay, good, good, good. All right, you're back. I'm back. Were you having technical difficulties? I had a, a phone call from the boss. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't sure whether the internet was going down or, or what. No, I had, a, I had a quick phone call from the boss. Okay. Hmm. I really. Something that's probably not on your list. 
Oh, smoke wagon, uncut, unfiltered. Now, that's a good one. It is MGP or, oh, there's yeah. my alarm going off. It went off that time. I must have inadvertently killed the seven o'clock one. All right. Well, let me go ahead and spin this thing. Hopefully, everybody's got their stuff in. And uh, we'll go ahead and give away these five entries. Boom. Good luck, everybody. Bam. That is Lori here. I haven't seen Lori. That, I haven't seen Lori tonight. So this is a plus. It doubles for the next person that wins. So whatever it is, I'm going to write their name down, plus five. Jerry J, good one to win there. Plus five. So it's five plus five is ten. There you go. If y'all can't add, I mean, I'll do it for you. <laughs> that was a tough one. There. I had to stop thinking about it. Let's see. Yeah, Jerry, I need to, I need to finish this that bottle off because I need to make another one of these uh, cigar ashtrays. I had a, a friend of mine. She's got a, uh, I don't know what you call it, kiln, and what she did, she took the that bottle over there and then slumped it like this. Mm -hmm. And then, so what I can do is put my cigar right there. And I got a really nice little cigar ashtray. Well, it looks a, like you put one on the other end. Yeah, I think you can, but you'll have to kind of give it the, oh, the, the lean, yeah. you know. And I don't want to do that. I want it. I want the end to be in the air. So, whether well, twelve year, well, and I can agree. get that bottle. Come on, I do agree with this, but what I don't agree with uh, um, is uh, and I actually <laughs> uh, majored in math, so yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, but what I I don't agree with is the the MSRP on this bottle is like seventy bucks, and, and they sell for three hundred. I mean that I don't agree with, but um, people are saying, and I have not had the Van Winkle twelve, but they're saying they taste like damn near identical. Uh, yeah. Now, when you get into the higher pappies and stuff, that's different. But uh, Weller 12 is supposed to be, and I, I've, I've tried it. I just haven't. And it was it was good. I'll tell you. So that one I, I kind of agree with. From the ones I've had. I haven't got the 12. I, I haven't tried that one yet. I've got the... Uh... The regular special reserve and i've got the uh the 107 i think is what it is i got that one and i'm not really personally impressed with that one personally but oh the antique 107 uh, yeah it, yeah it's okay. i like the cypb better which i understand and i'm not talking about price and i know people try to sell cypb for 12 1400 yeah. but nah, i ain't buying it for that no it's it's nope. it's better than Antique 107, but it is not that much better than Antique 107. Okay. Yeah, it, it might be, but I'm not going to spend that kind of money on it for sure. Oh, Rip yeah, Ken's better Ken. than both of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. There again, I haven't tried Rip Van Winkle Ken either, so, you know. No, I've had the 12. That kind of stuff is no, not the 12 stupid on allocated. Rip. What did I have on the, well, I've, I've had the Pappies. The you know at mm -hmm. the place in Louisville when the they Pepe, had the bottle. Yeah, I think you had the uh, the fifteen and the the twenty or twenty three or something. Like no, that. I had the the twenty and twenty three. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So I mean, they were good. They were, and would, they were about twenty dollars a pour. I would think that the uh, like the the fifteen would probably be a little bit better for me because I'm thinking know, personally man. the the twenty and the twenty three would be more. Overly oaked, it you know, more not, old cannons though. and stuff like that. They it weren't wasn't? though. Mm -mm. They wow. were good. That's surprising. They were. It felt it, 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 when you took a sip of it, it, it was like dragging silk across your tongue. Oh dang! Yeah, it's smooth it, then, huh? 
Yeah, yeah that's gone. true. And I don't really do the wheaters that much either. I mean, the 107 is good. I mean, I, I'm not. Here's the truth about it. I'll drink Jim Beam if that's all we got. You know, regular <laughs> old Jim Beam. But um, yeah. all you're going to get is the, the vanilla and, you know, that's about it. And maybe a t- teeny hint of. Now, if you drink anything else and then drink Jim Beam, it sucks. You can't taste it. Uh, but, you know, if you start and end the night with Jim Beam, mm-hmm. it's okay. I mean, you're not going to be like, oh, that was so good that night. But, I mean, it's still a good night. I guess it depends if you if you throw any uh, peanut scotch in there. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. that's going to throw your palate way off. The thing is, though, this Blue Note Crossroads would just kill Jim Beam, you know, yeah. the regular old Jim Beam. I mean, it just doesn't have any yeah. hardly flavor to it. Now, if you want to get boobard, go on ahead and start off with a, 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 a small pour of like a uh, that uh, Larceny Barrel Proof up there and then go to Jim Beam and you're going to drink the Jim Beam like it's mm-hmm. just tea. Yep, like water. It's still going to reach up and punch you in the balls after a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hydration is key for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, W-L-L. yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm going to cross my tongue. I, I was more of a, a look, thinking about the Merovingian on, on uh, um, the uh, Neo thing, the Matrix. When uh, oh. he was up there in that r- big ballroom and he's up there and he's cursing in French. And he said, mm-hmm. I love cursing in French. It's like wiping your ass with silk. <laughs> oh, man. I need to drink some more of this dang smoke wagon so I can finish that bottle off and get another one of these made up. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, the, the Weller special reserve, the green label, the, the mm-hmm. base one, it's okay. It just, but again, it's kind of just a barely a step above. I mean, it's a base, base bourbon. It just, yep. that, that's what it is. Well, I was going to say it's barely a step above McAfee benchmark. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is Buffalo Trace's lowest, you know. Well, it compares to the normal Buffalo Trace to me. You know, if you get a, a regular sample of the normal Buffalo Trace, you know, and then mm-hmm. you put uh, the Weller one, you know, the special reserve next to it, they're about the same. Yeah. I mean, I, there, you get a few sharper notes uh, out of um, a, a few more earthy notes out of Buffalo Trace. Mm-hmm. That than you do out of the Weller Special Reserve. I think it's like a more of like a, a grassy note in there uh, over the uh, Weller. Okay. Yeah, but the camp price wise, I mean they're, they're both both of those are you know about twenty three to twenty five dollars mm-hmm. a bottle. That's what they should be at. Hey, if I had four bottles of either one of those sitting around a campfire, I don't think anyone would complain. Mm-hmm. And if they did, that's not what we're, we're not here to hold our pinky out. We're, we're here to yep. enjoy this campfire, smoke some cigars and drink this bourbon. There you go. If you don't like it, there's your truck <laughs> or, or no, you better there, there's your Prius. Break out <laughs> your own bottle. Come on now, you know. <laughs> What, yeah. What are you drinking? We'll, we'll try it. Yeah. I mean, I'll, you know, like I said one time, like when I went, uh, we went on a little trip. We went to Utah and it was the National Blade Show. And one of my kids is into knives and swords and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Oh, yeah, and it was a birthday knives. trip. And we went. And, and yes, they are now selling liquor there in Utah. Salt Lake City, but it's very reserved. You know, it's it's uh, not mm-hmm. not that. Be- and the best thing I could get off the shelf there was uh, Jack Daniels, uh, the uh, 
what was that? No, is it Jack Daniels? Gentleman Jack. Gentleman Jack. That's what it is. Yeah, the, I started. I, I knew it had gentleman in it. Up oh, here's the alarm going off. Let me spin this thing. I almost hit invite. Let's see here. Here we go. Good luck, everybody, on the yeah. six entries to the quarterly drawing. If it lands on me, it doubles. Yeah, oh, John Crans. Nice. Hey, Josh and Sean. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, W. The Weller. Yeah, that's just special reserve. It's just an entry bourbon. It's been hyped up. Yeah. That's all it is. I mean, <laughs> it's it's not a great pour. You know, but people think, oh, well, that's what Pappy was. You know, that's that's a early Pappy, basically. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, maybe it, it may be the same mash bill, but it tastes nothing like a Pappy. No. I can't say for sure because, you know, he's tried it. Oop, oh, no, let's see. Yeah, he's me over here. It, but uh, I haven't. If anyone has heard anyone? of this, uh, you win the award tonight because I've never heard of this before. Filmland Moonlight Mayhem. The only thing I could imagine, I did not look these up. Um, I'm thinking this is probably MGP juice bottled in in yeah. around LA somewhere or something, and they put a big fancy label on it. I don't know. I'm just making no, shit up right now, but that's there it is. It was it was it, it was listed on, on their site, so I put it down here. Sounds about that right. Is, uh, Small batch bourbon. There's another one though coming on its heels. That's the same category. Small batch bourbon. So it doesn't matter. It's worth seven entries. Oh, okay, John. Yeah. Oops. Oh, okay. It's MGP. Yeah, that's what I figured. There you go. Yep. Well, a lot of stuff is MGP. I mean, you know, if you look up uh MGP brands or mm -hmm. you know brands that are sourced from MGP, mm -hmm. you'd be amazed at the amount of oh different boy, ones. there are thousands of there, them. yeah, there's hundreds for sure. Oh you know, yeah, there's, there's, everything's there's, MGP. I mean, heck, from that matter, you know, smoke wagon MGP. Yep. You know, uh, hey, I can folks. look over on my shelf over there and pick out probably three or four different bottles. Yeah, he got a haircut. A no face. haircut. Face haircut. I, I got a face cut. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> face haircut. <laughs> well, yeah, but that, that's going to grow back out. All right, if you yeah. look under here, look at all this white. Yeah, no tan. Yeah. Look at there. Yeah, no, no tan line under here. <laughs> There's all that hanging down, shading it. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's good for you. I mean, for us guys, you know. Keep some of the sun off of your face, you know, keeps you younger. You know, we have as many wrinkles and everything else. Not to worry about, uh, you know, uh, sunspots or whatever, you know, cancerous Ooh. growth or whatever and stuff like that on your face. If you keep a beard going most of the time. Maybe. I normally do have one, but yeah, it'll grow back. A couple we of weeks. This collab? All right. SPF 150. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, beard. That's a, yeah, that's a, that's his shirt right here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, know, you get beard on your face. It's, it's you don't have to put any lotion on. <laughs> Puts the lotion on the skin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. We are on F L M M ha hashtag F L. MM worth seven entries to the quarterly drawing. That's for the 24 note nose again, three sample bourbons uh, and one of these etched glasses. And I just started last time and it's been a big hit so far of laser engraving uh, the, the bamboo toppers that go on top and I can write like whoever's whiskey or, or whatever, or don't fuck with me or what, whatever. Right. <laughs> uh, but here's another other announcement. We got a new laser engraver. <laughs> so uh, the new one, the one we were using before, albeit it was it was a little pricey, it was still considered a craft laser engraver, mm -hmm. like a, a crafter's laser engraver. We got an industrial sucker now. 
sitting in there. Oh, dang. Um, big wheels and everything, and that sucker is dead on. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get some better. Now, I can't do the glasses on the new one. It doesn't have a rocker. Mm. We've we still kept the old one, so I can do the, the rocker okay. to, to do that, that engraving with the logo. But the glass has to turn back and forth as it's engraving. What's up, Marty? Whiskey Nose Cheers. and Candy Road. Marty man. and Candy Road. How y'all doing? FLMM. I see Marty got it in there. Uh, <laughs> taste my nickel. Hey, I can put whatever you want on there. Uh, but yep. uh, no, I sent one uh, to Art by Sparkle and it said Sparkle. There, there's, there's John's sign right there. I need yeah, to send that to is. him. Yeah, taste my nickel. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, now we, uh, uh, you know, and I can, I can just put, put the stuff on there and she loved it. And she, she did the, the, the lacquer yeah. coating or whatever you call it, uh, on there. And, uh, yeah. yeah and she put sprinkle sparkles all around it. it, it I know good. Gandy, it's terrible, but you know, yeah, who's the kid. <laughs> hey, Tater Dom. Yeah, we had to check IDs tonight to make sure we were old enough yeah, to do all this. That's rough, you know. It's, I shaved it, shaved the beard off, or you know, the goatee or whatever, and I lose like five, ten years. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. We 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 did our ID check at the door, so we're we're good to go. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, if y'all uh, are uh, new to the party, I will just real quick make, make an announcement on the supers for the halfway mark giveaway. Uh, you get uh, two entries per dollar to that, which is coming up on April 25th. But we're also doing a three sample giveaway tonight for anyone on the night that, that does a super. You get two for a dollar for tonight, but you're still entered into that. We're going to do that every week so we can get a little immediate gratification going. So uh, just making sure everybody understands those rules and uh, we will carry on from there. And right now, I'm gonna you, pour a little a, this uh, sample from uh, Eric Gunderson. And what is that one? I'll Creek 12. Oh, oh, I've, you know what? How many poor me? I've never knife. seen that around here. I've been looking for it. I we the nine is all over the place around here, but the twelve, yeah. I, I never see it. It just it, apparently when it gets on the shelf, it just poof disappears. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna but, pour that next right there. There you so go. So a little blue label. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, it's good. Like a denim blue label. It's got a great nose to it. Great color. Look at the darkness on that thing. I'm going to finish this uh, I mean, blue the, note the nine, The 9 is okay. It the 12? Fine. Holy crap. It's much better. Much better than the 9. The 9 is a good bar pour if there's yeah. nothing else around. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'd settle for like a you know Woodford Double Oak over the 9. Yeah, but like when when even at Disney, you know, when we were at Disney, mm -hmm. I would get the uh, Knob Creek one twenty. Okay, and the you know the nine year one twenty because they have the hundred and the in the in the one twenty, and I would get a double, and just uh, but I would have them put it over ice because you know you're not getting a lot of great yeah. flavors out of it. That is a good bourbon. That twelve is a good bourbon. Yeah, I'm gonna. I might as well grab another glass. Oh, reader picked up a twelve last weekend. Dang, I wish I could pick one up. I would definitely pick one of those up if I had the chance to. Yeah, here's the these bamboo topper things. Dang, I just oh, you know what? I put that in there earlier. I washed these glasses, but this is where I would engrave whatever you want on there. Oh, there you go. With the laser engraver. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pour. Especially down here in the summertime. You, no. you need one of those if you're sitting outside. You need one mm -hmm. of those to you know put on your glass to make sure that the gnats or we're not gnats. Uh, what is it like 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 fruit flash or something? Well, yeah, they want to get any kind of difference. Yeah. Whiskey and just 
drink all your whiskey and pass away. I just <laughs> drink things. it. It just adds protein. Oh, not me. I grab a hose of them and go, spit it out, you wee bastard. Yeah. All right. Let me spin this thing, and then uh, I'll start tasting on that knob 12. All right. Good luck, everybody. This is worth eight, no, seven entries to the quarterly drawing. Here we go. Oh, hoy, Groovy. And Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates. Nice. All right. There we go. We will let the confetti die down. I would never steal Kathy's confetti. And then I'll get the next <laughs> one lined up. Chilling. Yep. Time to try the knob. It's an easy hashtag here. Okay. What? Uh, what's the next one then? Uh, the next one, a rocker. I don't know. I have but never seen that bottle in my life. Me either, but the hashtag is rock. That's a cool looking bottle. Yeah. But, you know, my experience when it's a cool looking bottle. Yeah, the juice is not that great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's right. typical. Now, this one did not win. The one before it won, this one came in uh after it but it was mentioned like i said i had to come up with 10 so i, I used more than one in a category gotcha. in a few categories it's, it's an interesting looking bottle but like you said more than likely eh. yeah. all right let me remind myself on this 12. it's got a good nose mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's quite a good whiskey yeah yeah it's not bad at all not bad at all it it still has that oaky. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying over oak like the twelve years. It's it has um, that knob creek oakness to it that yeah. carries forward to the twelve. But yeah, there's there's a just a, if you want to know drying. that's why I used to tell people if you can't if you don't know what how to pick out oak and a bourbon, uh, get you some knob. Yeah, and this is only what hundred proof. But it kind of drinks a little bit hotter than that. Yeah, well, yeah, I didn't even look at the. <laughs> but yeah, it's a hundred proof. So. Oh, Kathy, you don't remember. <laughs> it sure is crap. Yeah, <laughs> little in Colorado. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, but is, is it their from, stuff uh, or, or are they uh, uh, NDP or I, I don't know. Like I said, I didn't look these up. I just put it together off of the the uh, listing from last year's uh, San Francisco World Spirits thing. Mm -hmm. And they had the pictures ready for me and I just, oh, they're a real distillery. Cool. Then I would like to try it. I mean that that's my thing. If it's an N M D or an MGP, I'll get around to it. But if they're a real distiller, then I'm like, okay, I'd like to have some of it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm more for the the craft distillers, try that stuff out and see what that what's good, what's not. You know, yeah. like around here, you know, um one of the ones around here is like Andalusia. You know, that's one that most people don't know about, but they're quite yeah. tasty. They make their own stuff. They yeah. age it down here in texas and it's really good you know like well still austin you know but and uh balconas and there's a, there's a few others but most people don't have not heard of andalusia and they they make some really good stuff make a lot of single malt type stuff and uh peated things and they they, they smoke their own grain and everything else they're all hands-on and they do really good stuff I was trying to figure out what uh, John Kranz was laughing about, but I guess I missed it. Mm. Okay. But uh, no, yeah, the, and I, I would love to come. Right now, I've got too many projects going, but I would love to get in contact with. Uh, I, what I would really like to do is come shoot a uh, not a yeah the kind of a documentary, but the kind of a, just a highlight shoot of Nancy being there doing a pick. Oh yeah. 
I'd love yeah, to. It, that's the big thing with um, <laughs> with still Austin. You know, it's Nancy is really deeply involved with that brand, and uh, she's helped them uh, control what they're doing. Mm-hmm. You know, as far as you know, a- adding water to the barrel and aging it that way, and you know, she's done a, a whole lot with them, and they're. It tastes like nothing like uh, a lot of your other Texas whiskeys. Right. Like it tastes nothing like Balcones. Uh, It tastes nothing like uh, Garrison Brothers, you know. And uh, man, Nancy the Nose, if you get some stuff that she's got her hands in, it's going to be some good stuff. Same thing with Irene Tan. If you get some stuff where Irene Tan has her Mm -hmm. hands in that, oh my God, both of those women are fantastic they really are you know, they have great nose great palate and they could pick some really good stuff you know the, and I, there was a uh i, I was reading a, an article about the science behind and, and it, it of course this is not every person right i mean i know you know, when they say, oh, well, men are stronger than women. Uh, yeah, trust me, uh, arm wrestles from yeah. women I knew. Now, yeah, but they're the outliers, right? But what they're saying now, coming full circle, is a science where, by and large, <laughs> women tend to have better palates and noses than and men. better noses. By and large, in general. Yes. You know, there's yeah. always going to be the curve, you know, and there's going to be people at both ends of the curve and oh, things sure. like that but i like i i'm enjoying seeing and even uh brother Drust was uh now that's uh you know allocated juice but they have their own little uh their toasted barrel process thing that they do but that, that's a, a woman running that as well mm-hmm. and i've got a scotch close. over there this you know it's a they're a non-distilling producer of, of scotch you know so she's mainly a blender but mm-hmm. There again, it's quite tasty. You know, and she uses stuff, you know, she, uh, the bottle I got over is Saya. And uh, there's a blend of, uh, I think it's three or four different Scotch brands all blended together. And it's quite good. <laughs> rock the hashtag. Yes, we all right. That's because girls <laughs> rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dylan, you know, She's she's starting to work with Fay Ranch, and you know she's always worked with uh, you know, Joseph Magnus the cigar blend. She does mm-hmm. all their cigar blend stuff. Um, Wyoming whiskey, I believe she does their <laughs> stuff. Um, she's she's got her hands in a lot of different things. She's a real busy lady, and then yeah. uh, with Irene Tan, you know she's got whiskey mentors, and uh, she does it a lot. She's going all over the the U S and abroad. I mean, she's going to India and mm. you, know, you name it. She's going all over the place, Scotland, Ireland, everything else. She's getting stuff from there and uh, she does really good stuff. Yeah. You know, but she's out in, uh, what is it? Connecticut? I believe it's her store, mm. but her, you know, she's got more barrel picks than anybody that I've heard of. And I've got quite a few of those and they're fantastic. Every one I've had from her has been fantastic. You know, from Kilhoman, you know, a scotch, um, uh, Glen Scotia, uh, Koala. Uh, she's got all kinds of different things. It's man, it's fantastic. That, yeah. Now, while only anything whiskey, she touches, I'm like, it's a plus. I can smell a mile away. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, Jerry Arbaugh, man, Wyoming makes uh, Wyoming whiskey. That, that's some pretty. They make some pretty good stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they got a, a cigar blend sort of thing going on with them, and it's it's quite quite good. Yeah, I mean, I I have a couple of Wyoming's that I'm not sad about at all. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know what? We we do need to make a road trip. We, we'll just do yeah. a, a a fan. We'll we'll do a fan funded road trip. We'll just, <laughs> all right Gee. i need to spin this wheel here oh because i'm about to go on a road trip at the end of this next month so we got one month from well it's less than a month now i'll be heading out that way all right let me share this screen and we'll get this uh this is worth eight the well, rock. Hopefully you get down my neck of the woods 
Uh, hopefully, I'm, uh, I don't know yet. I, I'm working on it. Um, it won't be that first weekend I'm off. Peter White. Oh, nice. Because that's Peter, my birthday. Peter. My birthday's that Saturday mm -hmm. that I'm off for that first week. And uh, uh, my son is driving down from Kansas City. So, okay. uh, you know, depending on how all that goes and everything, uh, you know, I'll have to, I'm trying to touch base with RB. Uh, I can touch base with you anytime, yep. you know, on text message or whatever, but uh, let me do this. What are you talking about, Kathy Bates? She already won one tonight. You got two nosing kits. Come on. I just sent you some samples. Kathy Bates does not have two nosing kits. She doesn't? I thought she had no. I thought she had Sparkle two. had all the nosing kits. Oh, okay. But Kathy Bates has one nosing kit because I just sent it to her. But that's not because she won it. It's because she is a allocated elite member and they get the stuffs anyway. Mm. Now, I know this bourbon. I know the guy that runs this restaurant. He has a a uh barbecue joint and does his own sauces. Now he doesn't make the bourbon, but they make it with his label on it, you know, so he has him do it, but it's named after that. He helped pick, you know, the notes and everything, you know, what he liked. Um, yeah. Cool, cool dude. He actually has, uh, he lost a leg. Um, so that's why they call it peg leg porker. He has a, a false leg on one side. He's a really, really cool guy. Um, re really like him. Uh, runs a really great barbecue joint there. Um, can't say enough about him. But anyway, uh, best small batch six to ten years. So there, there okay. it is. Well, that's nice. And uh, yeah, they actually won that category. And I've been trying to get my hands on a bottle of it, and I tried to get them to order it here because it can't. It shows up on the list for North Carolina, like they can order it, but. Yeah. Get them to, but I'm probably gonna grab a bottle on my way through. Now uh, you may have to go on like Sealbach or something like that. Yeah, but I looked on, on the ABC North Carolina ABC approved list. It's on it, mm -hmm. but getting them to order it is like pulling teeth. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, well, getting anything here in Texas shipped to here, you know, it's it's kind of rough. Mm. They got their own you know, liquor laws and stuff around here. So, you know, even Sealbach and things like that, they're like, oh, well, sorry, we can't ship to Texas. Okay, you know what ma'am. I would love to do? Just get get a couple of lawyers involved and figure out everything that we have to do. Start a small little store with a few bottles on it and be like, wow, y'all don't have much in here. No, but we can get you whatever the hell you want. Yeah. What do you want? You prepay, we'll get it to you uh, next week. That'd be kind of fun. And that way, they don't, they can't order it and have it shipped to them, but we can get it to us, and then we'll order yeah. two or three bottles or something, and then uh, you know, give them theirs, and then put a couple on the shelf. And then after a while, you build up this store, and everybody knows if you can't find it, go there. There you go. That might, not a bad idea. We'll try a little bit of this. Oh, is that the blue corn? A little blue corn. Yeah, that's what I started off with tonight. It's a little tiny pour of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I I started off with the sample you sent me tonight. Ah, okay. Yep. Yeah, that was that one. I finished it off first thing. A panel of lawyers. Hell yeah. But I don't want to pay a panel of lawyers unless somebody wants to buy my uh, my uh, bourbon Bible. I'll sell bourbon Bibles, and then I can pay them. Yep, that's nice. Nice, mellow. Got a little bit of slight blueberry note to it. A little chocolate. That's a good, that's a good pour. Oh, yeah. It was, it was a real good pour. I really enjoyed all of the notes uh, from that from earlier. Well, we are at 744. We will have one more, well, two more spins. This one plus one more, and then it will be time 
And then we're going to have time in there here in a little bit to do the spin for the three samples for tonight. So if anybody wants to get in on that one, three one ounce samples, uh, one dollar uh, of a super gets you two entries to that. Uh, so uh, don't don't miss out on on that. And uh, we only have uh, uh, 10, 20, 30 entries right now. So just, uh, yeah, any little bit. Nice. Oh, stream yard. Hey, whoever wins tonight, you know, get with me and uh, we'll figure out what to pour you because we can. I've got, let's see here. There you go. Got, I got a little bit of a selection we can pour from. Is that everything you have? Because that looks yeah. like everything you had in that closet. Well, it's, it's that and then some. Oh, yeah. I see boxes oh, of stuff sitting around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And hell, if you uh, want three ounces of the same thing, we can do that too. You know? Oh, for sure. Well, depending on if it's like a you know, Blanton's, well, I can't do three ounces of Blanton's because I got well, one bottle. Well, negotiable, of negotiable. Everything's negotiable. But uh, I've got you know Scotch, Irish. Uh, Bourbons, which you know, rice, uh, rum. I've got some rum, uh, other odd and end things. Moonshine. <laughs> Said I saw. <laughs> I saw Mark's beard scamper off and hide when he panned the camera. Is <laughs> <laughs> watching from the side. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's terrible, but it, it's gonna grow back, you know. Dang, Harry, you can't, you can't stop it. Well, it's coming back. Well, until it doesn't. And then well, when it, well when it this stuff, I'm sure, leave, will keep on coming back. Oh, this, yeah. Uh, yeah, Look at well, that. you know. Look at that. I need to go yeah. ahead and just shave my head. My receding nah. hairline is coming right to here. You know, it's like, yeah. I need to, huh? I'm going to do the, yeah. the little egg cut or something. Oh, my hair is still fine. Yeah, oh you yeah, know. yours is mine. Not it's just falling all. It's out. growing on out now. I got what was it? I think uh, April of last year I started growing it back because I had I kept it shaved as uh, short as yours is right now, you know. And I'm like, uh, I like my hair longer. I, I cut it off six years ago. I had hair down to the like middle of my back six years ago. And I cut it off <laughs> and I kept it short and then, uh, for like six <laughs> years and I'm like, I don't like it. I don't like it short. It's just not me. It's not comfortable. You know, I, I like it longer where I can just pull it all back into a ponytail and then wear it that way. That's, that's more me. All right. I am pouring some Bardstown. Oh, I'm not sure Fulton. I mean, yeah, I'm not one to tell you to cut your hair. So, yeah, yeah. Let it grow. Oh. Let it grow, Fulton. This is Put not the one that's tail. coming up. Good. But oh, this the bar is sound. a fusion. This is a fusion. Um, yeah. I'll get, but it's not the one that won. So, Thrash. there's one coming up shortly. Thrash. <laughs> Jerry. Yeah. Well, I don't have hair growing out the middle of my back, Terry, but you know, my brother does, not me. Yeah. All right. So, because what I'll tell you, Fulton, just get a buzz cut and go for it. Now, yeah. Uh, if you have don't have it in there, well, we're about to spin, but it's uh, PLPB, but we're about to spin this one. But don't worry, there'll be one coming up right after it. So if you didn't make this one, there'll be more chances. Good luck, everybody. This is worth nine entries to the quarterly drawing. Baker drinks. <laughs> it ain't tender, Dom. Right. Not me, baby. Now then, let me set this next one up. We'll do one more of these, and then we'll uh, do the uh, everybody gets a put-me-ins. 
Tater Dome. <laughs> no. Not me. I gotta get more hair. Hmm. Yep, oh, there's my alarm going off. I got it. I got it. Now then, Something this one, done. I pulled a Bardstown, but I don't have this one. The Bardstown Chateau de la Bay Brad, Brad, uh, Armagnac. <laughs> finished. It's Armagnac. La, uh, we'll say uh, Chateau de la Bay. How about that? So, uh, yeah, we'll leave it. We'll kind of leave it at that. But uh, that's it. BCBL. Cool. I, I'm, I'm sure that would be tasty. Yep. I'm going to try a little pour from uh, Burban. That looks like a scotch. Yes, sir. Sure Ooh. enough, yes. I mean, yeah. yeah. When it's that light. Oh yeah, it's either, it's either a Scotch that or, or an Irish. A, it's either that or a, a ten day old bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ten days here in Texas for sure. <laughs> now this is a Glen Scotia mm. double cask, aged in a Demerara rum cask. Damn, mm. boy, that Bardstown makes some good stuff. I haven't uh, had a pour of this in a while this is a uh, fusion series wow uh, that nice. they came out with it's a uh, right under 100 proof it's a 98.9 proof man it nice. was it is tasty i, I wouldn't uh, i'll tell you this I, I hate to steer anybody wrong but i know bardstown can be a little pricey on the shelf but i would mm -hmm. not be afraid to buy one um just you know, I, would, I wouldn't be afraid of it. Close, Ben, but no cigar for you. <laughs> I don't think I have a single bar sent on the shelf. Um, I, I had another one but this is the one i have left i killed the other bottle of it and then when i went back to get it they didn't have the exact one i wanted and i didn't want to pay 135 for the one they had oh dang yeah i, know. You know, you. So, I wouldn't either i mean bar sounds I pretty really, good but the one i wanted was supposed to be around 90 bucks but it was mm -hmm. gone by the time i you know went to get i can't always just drop work and go you know oh heck no ain't nobody yeah. got time for that who is a smooth skinned child <laughs> <laughs> we did do id checks at the door he is over 21. <laughs> slightly Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that bar. I was thing. looking earlier. Mm. I had to I had to wash my face because I've been uh doing some burn piles here you know, the last couple of days. And uh burn piles, but if y'all are not unaware of that, uh I have a bunch of brush that we cleared out, you know, trees and stuff and pushed all that up in a big pile. And uh what I'm doing is I'm gathering all that stuff up and then I'm pushing it together and then all those kids here. <clears throat> and then burning it all and burning it down to ashes, basically, to you know, clear the land. And uh, it's, uh, I forgot where I was going. I don't know. You were talking about smoke earlier, but. Mm, well, yeah. At, right now, everything tastes like smoke, mm. you know. Because it's it's all up in my sinuses, so you a lot of the stuff that I'm trying, it tastes like smoke. You know, it, it's got that. Oh, it tastes like a uh, a bourbon <laughs> with a slight hint of smoke on the back end. He said, "You got too close to the burn pile." Yep, for sure. You know, and, and, and when hair catches on fire, it goes zip <laughs> like that. Yep. 
<laughs> it it smells bad too. Right, it smells. Awful. You don't want to burn the you don't want to burn the hair on the face. Oh, it's bad. It's nasty. I had uh, hair on my arm one time. Catch you know curl up, and yep. I had a little comb thing, and I went to like comb it off, and the comb got stuck because it just draws up and makes little balls on there. There it is. Well, I have you there, Peter. I love single malt. Yeah. <laughs> Be more bourbon got the hashtags in. We got a few more minutes here. If you, uh, we're on the Bardstown hashtag BCDL. What the hell did I put BCDL? Oh, I guess De La, La Bay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Chateau De La Bay. I'm I'm finish. Finish. I could have put AF, but I didn't want to put BC as frick on there, you know, so I just put whatever. I just do hashtags. Come up yep. with something unique for every one of them. Yeah, it was the thing yesterday. I, I came home from burning all that stuff, and, you know, I tried uh, two or three different uh, bourbons. And I'm like, hmm, it smells like bourbon with a little bit of hint of smoke. Because it was just all, <laughs> all the smoke is just stuck up in my sinuses, you know, the higher sinuses. So, oh, now, his name wasn't on the lid. Well, I put what you told me to put. <laughs> Did, did, did everything come out okay, Kathy, though? The nosing kit and all that? Uh, I'm just wondering. Uh, usually it does. I'm just making sure. I had it in a little zippy lock plastic thing and all that. Look, she finally got the samples that I sent her, too. Uh-huh. She, 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 got, she got a lot this time. Yep. Now, Kathy, try that one Glenn Levitt. Uh, the Caribbean cask. I sent you that mm. one. And that one, my wife will actually drink. And she's a tequila drinker. She doesn't like whiskey at all. But that scotch is really good. It's uh, it's not smoky. Oh. It's not peeny. It's it's weird. You know, it's... Uh, it's... Uh, I would say more like floral... And oh, maybe uh, fruity. It's a really tasty one. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a Logan one then. Yeah, it's we'll we'll have to do a Logan one. Tastes like a uh, Conan Brimstone. No, Brimstone's a different one. He's talking about the um, smokiness. Yeah, yeah. Now that I have some smoky stuff from Balcones, I have a peated one from there from well, them as well. I, I think what what Jimmy's like uh, the the Balcones brimstone is like. Yeah, I'm getting burn pile there on the nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can see that for sure. Mezcal scotch that's tasty around 20 bucks. Wow, really? really? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to make one, Kathy. We'll have to get that sent out. Mm -hmm. You'll have to you'll have to remind me of this later. You know, send me the message or email or whatever, and I'll I'll, I'll get it done. There you go. Get it drop shipped. I'm still, I had to get all this stuff put together and I'm still working on a 30 bourbon sampler. I'm I got, that's a, that's a, a big task, by the way. <laughs> I can't put the that's labels a lot of whiskey. On. I can't put the labels on, on till after I pour them because if you miss the little top and they run down the side, 
it'll mm. erase your label. So I have to yep. have all my paper towels out, lay all the little bottles out, make sure all the labels are down. And I actually put a tiny piece of tape on them so they don't, they can't like, if I'm moving around, air doesn't blow them around because if they mix up, I don't know what's what, you know, after that. But anyway, yep. let me present the screen and we are going to give away 10 entries to the quarterly drawing. Here we go. Good luck, everybody, for 10 entries to the quarterly draw. Sugar Kitty. Nice. On this day after his birthday. There we go. Happy birthday to you. I didn't sing the whole thing because it, it was yesterday. But, uh, well, that and, you know. Uh, I, yeah. I, I don't do judges to, uh, uh, what's her name? Art by Sparkle? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, you talking about Marilyn Monroe singing Happy there Birthday? There you go. I'm not yes. going to sing it like that. Happy Birthday. No, no, no we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. <laughs> but here's what we're going to do right now, though. Time for Bam. some uh, put me in. Start, put me in. All you have to do is type put me in in the chat. And you get two entries to the quarterly drawing. There we go. Fulton right in there for the first one. All right, here we go. I'm going to let this catch up just a little bit, and then yep. I'll scroll hey. down. Happy birthday, hey. Sugar Kitty. Which I already said that earlier tonight. That one. John Cranch, what you sipping on tonight? Anything? Maybe a cold beer, probably. Mm. Okay, Becca. That'd be nice. Well, that was a pretty decent cigar. What are y'all sipping on tonight? Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Oh, well, it happened, sir, Ben. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Oh, the, the, the land sipping on a nickel store pick. Oh, there you go, John. Fresh pizza out of the oven. Yummy. I hardly buy frozen pizza anymore. I, I go down the road and get the, uh, uh, what is it? the name of the place. Papa Murphy's. Love me some Papa Murphy's pizza. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. I used to love that in, in Texas. Mm-hmm. Man, that, that's good stuff there. You know, it's all fresh ingredients and everything else. You take it home to your house, bake that's it great. up. It's fresh ass pizza right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to do stuff. that all the time. Big old pizzas too. Mm -hmm. Just a, don't screw up and try to coffee with hints of vanilla. Okay, nut. vanilla nut. Yeah, just don't try to cook two of them at the same time. Now, no, you got to cook them one at cook a time, but one at a time. All right. Well, I'm going to read these names off. It seems to be caught up here. All right. So here's what I have. If I do not, oh, nice. Excuse Candy. me. Gosh, 
If I do not call your name, I did not get you in for the put me in. All you have to do is type put me in again or the first time, whichever. I have Mr. Great Shot, Fulton Moraz, Deland Robbins, Gandy Road, uh, Jerry Arbaugh, Jimmy's Random Content, Mike Brock, John Kranz, Rigor Wonka. Oh, excuse me, Sugar Kitty, Jerry J, Peter White, Kathy Bates, Becca Mud Tramp, Whiskey Nose, and Be More Bourbon. If I did not call your name, I do not have you down for put me in. All you have to do is type put me in in the chat, mm. and I will write your name down, and you will get two free uncontested entries to the quarterly draw. There you go. You do Come that on every, there, Jimmy. They build up. Mm. Well, looks like uh, now I'm going to put stop, put me in. I didn't see it, man. Oh, well, I'll write it down. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ben's in. Uh, okay. Which I am. I am trying. I got it. I got me. Now I'm going to type. Did I not say put me? No, I got Jimmy's random content. I, I called that out. Now I'm going to type stop, put me in. That does not mean we're stopping. It just means I'm stop focusing on it right now. You can type put me in to the end of the show. No problem, but just get our attention on it. But we have to get to the next uh, hashtag. We're going to do one more hashtag. Uh, well, maybe two. And then we're going to do, because uh, we have three more to go. And then... Boy, I hope this is right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, I know which one this is. This is the rabbit hole. Uh, uh, this is a best special barrel finish, which didn't win. The other one won. This one came in like second. So uh, I do have a, a bottle of this, but I'm not going to drink it tonight. But that's the PX Sherry finish. I love rabbit hole. But uh, there you go. So uh, it's really good, the Derringer. Mm. But uh, okay. rabbit hole PX RHP. Yeah. I love some Sarah's finish stuff. Now, here in just a little bit, we're going to do the spin for the three samples. Um, for anybody who uh, uh, every one dollar super gets you two entries to uh, win those three samples for tonight, and it also puts you in the drawing. Uh, for the halfway mark giveaway, which is an entire bottle of bourbon on April yes. 25th. So, yes, sir. We based that bottle on a $90 bottle of bourbon. So, if you don't want the Nancy Fraley pick from Still Austin, <sighs> then we can work with you on that. And, uh, Rabbit hole used to be my stage name. You know, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Have a little fluffy tail on the on the back there. <laughs> Have the little Chippendale bow tie with the little fluffy tail. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. I could possibly get away with that, but eh, doubtful. Yeah. I wouldn't. I, I, I would be a fluffy Chippendale if I got up there. Yeah, the Derringer's really good. That's it, too. The rabbit hole Derringer. And I hate that they spell it wrong, but because they spell it D A R E. R I N G E R, which is not how you spell Derringer, but that's mm -hmm. what they call it. It's Dare Ringer, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I don't know who spelled it, but uh, well, there's a marketing it. guy. Whatever. It's it tastes good. All right, there's Fulton's karaoke. If people want to vote on that. He said, I've been trying to have those videos. Yeah, chip and dip. That's it. I'm a chip and dip dancer. That's it. <laughs> Only, there's two things. 
the problem with that. I can't be a Chip and Dale dancer for two reasons. One, I do not have the body for it, and I never did know how to dance. <laughs> I dance like a – if you take a, a, a brand-new shovel with a stiff handle and wiggle it back and forth, that's me dancing. I'm like <laughs> – <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, Chunkendale. Mm-hmm. Only problem is I could be a I, uh, like like there was a, a thing uh, on Soul Train came out one time and these people were standing there holding the rail and they were just moving their arm like this the whole night. That would be me. I could do that. Just stand there and just move my arm like this. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's true but he could also dance a little yep at least he tried man I can't right, we got you uh oh yeah feeding them horses all right big daddy h is here all right we'll get that rhpx in there mm. don't forget groovy too <laughs> oh, Groovy, Groovy got, oh, Groovy. Oh, no, put me in. No, you didn't miss it. You didn't miss it. It goes till the end. Groovy, and I'll just put Big Daddy H down for the put me in. Remember, the put me in goes to the end of the show, mm -hmm. but I got to I gotta see it. You got to call it out. We got it. We, go, we got it going on. I hope Lori's okay. She wasn't here tonight. I had seen her. Mm. Yeah. We have had one double entry tonight. If it lands on me, it's double. Now, after this, uh, again, we're going to do the uh, giveaway for the three, the three bourbon samples tonight. So any supers that come in, I'm putting the, adding the names to the wheel tonight for three one ounce bourbons. I am groovy getting your 30 bourbon sampler together. I had to get all these other gifts out. Uh, yours is a little more difficult to put together. I'll have that done this week. But this week, three samples are coming from Mark. So uh, it, it, if you put in uh, for the uh, uh, halfway Mark giveaway, uh, you get entries for that. But then you get of tonight on the wheel and we'll do it every single week so we'll, we'll be giving mm -hmm. away three different samples so yeah it's awesome yep I like i'm going to go ahead and spin this thing looks like uh people are getting there uh i see be more bourbon got it in there we're going to go ahead and share this because we have another giveaway to do so let's go ahead and do this bam good luck everybody this is worth 11 entries to the quarterly drawing and oh doubles it's worth 22 oh. entries to the quarterly drawing Woo! here we go 22 entries to the quarterly drawing is going to peter white peter white has already nice. won plus 22 guess what the next person also gets 22 bam Dang. Peter White's got 30 right now. Dang. Up on top. Yep. Groovy, Groovy. got the 22. Plus 11. Which there's already 11. I put plus 11. And then one more of these. And then we're going to do the other wheel. I so. Do. Right before the last one, we'll do the other wheel. The last one is, uh, but well, this one's worth 12 entries. Oh, get pin, get out of my way, hashtag. Uh, T. Yeah, right, Jimmy. What the hell? There we go. And now let's bring up the slide for TCSB, the Clover. Now, this is best single barrel hmm. up to 10 years. Okay. Hmm. 
So it's under 10 years old, best single barrel. I have no idea. I never heard of it. But nope, there it is. Me either. But it's worth 12 entries. All you got to do is put just, it's not TCBY. I, I almost put that just to be funny. But anyway. TCBS. There's the alarm going off. I got it in there just in time. Yeah. Never this heard of it. Sour bourbon. I don't know. <laughs> Sucky yeah, it might be all right. Who knows? Don't know. But we're doing this one. Then we're going to do the three sample giveaway. Oh, and then we're going to do the last one. Very possible, Ben. I have no idea. Yep. TCSB. I don't know. I've never tried it. It possibly sucks. No idea. Mm. The hell of my drink. Oh, Bardstown. No wonder it's so good. That Bardstown's pretty good. Mm. I have on one. I put on the something scotchy and smoky. Well, if so. I wanted to do that, I'd grab that Oogie Doll. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff right there. Mm. That's a. Uh, I reserve that for special occasions. Yeah. For like when I want to kill my palate for the rest of the night. Those yeah. yeah, true that. Yeah. <laughs> it, that'll do it for sure. I may pour a teeny bit of it just to have. Yeah, let me do that. I, I haven't had any in a little bit. Let me do that. Mm. Oh, there's plenty in there. I barely have it to the shoulder. Oh, dang. This you need to drink it down some then. This is my second bottle of it, though. Oh, it's good stuff. Oh, that, there it is. That, and it's so light in color. It's just, how does that much yeah. flavor come off? I know, it's crazy. Oh, but you know, it's, it, it's got that, it, that note of, uh, like, for me, it's like brisket burn-ins. Oh, it's got that, that, that smell burn of ends. brisket burn-ins. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Oh, Love my it. gosh. That stuff is just so meaty on yep. the nose. It's weird. Dang. Oh, that is absolutely just burn ends right there. Yep. It's weird. It's good stuff, though. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Burnt hair, <laughs> burnt ball hair. <laughs> no, man, that is, man. Now, I've had other peated bourbons I do not, or peated uh, scotch I do not like. But this one, yeah. Club gathering tomorrow, done with that. Rebecca Creek, that's Mike Brock. Mm, good stuff mm -hmm. there. Mm-hmm. All right, we got a couple more minutes. I know we're kind of rushed here, but uh, this is the way it goes at the end of the night. Yeah. I, I got to go pick up a couple more bottles of Rebecca Creek, the Spanish Oak stuff especially. Uh, apparently, they're doing away with that one because they don't have the barrels to do it with. But that stuff is fantastic. It really is. Yeah. I, that's one there. If the, if you know they're going to discontinue it, go ahead and grab three or four bottles, put them back on the shelf, drink yep. them sparingly, make them last. And if if somebody wants to pay a high dollar for one later on, sell it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll probably give them away. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll probably will pass those along to other people that really you know, in other places they can get that. You know, they'll be like. Oh, I really need one of those. Well, okay. I'll just pass it along to them, you know, because. Well, that's it is true. What it is. That's true. Uh, Bourbon. Uh, they, they may uh, come out with it again, but is, but I've seen this before. When they come out with it again, is it yeah. going to be as good as this run with these barrels that they had? I don't know. I don't know. It's possible. 
you know, uh, the last barrel that I bought of their stuff, uh, it was like 128 proof versus mm-hmm. the 123 to 124 that I've gotten uh, the earlier earlier ones, and uh, it's 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 quite good. Yeah, I was going to say the land. I think you missed the hash or the the shift on the three there. The hashtag didn't. Oh, Mike tried three of them. There you go. It's good stuff, Mike. Yeah, it it really is. Mm. That I think the one thing I like about that Ugadol, it's got this sweetness to it mm-hmm. that combats uh, bourbon secondary. <laughs> <Whatever>. No, <laughs> I'm just saying if you have a bunch of them, and hey, hey, I have nothing against somebody having a good bottle of something that they want to. They want to uh, if they have plenty of it and it can help fund getting uh, eight more bottles or something. Go for it. You know, do you, do you Nope. Mm -hmm. but we're not going to go secondary on here. I do not do that. Heck no. Hey, but if somebody now, when I I've had bottles before where people were like sending me messages talking about, um, um, Hey, I'll, I'll give you this for it. And I'll nah. And then they would send me another message. Hey, I'll give you this for it. And they kept going up and up in price. And finally, I, I sent them a picture and I'd already taken a pour out of it. Yeah. And I sent them a picture and I said, stop messaging me. Because, uh, yeah, it was like it was seals been broken, dude. Uh, hmm. Very low. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, but as long as it well, tastes good, I don't care really. I mean, if the blenders and the well, not blender, but the you know the 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 distillers, they're, they're the you know they're trying to get it right, and if that's what they think is the best for that batch out of that barrel, go yep. for it. Just exactly. bring me the flavors. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I've got some from uh, two or Ooh, three. Different I have to spin. I have to spin. Points. We're gonna run out of time. All right, let me spin this one. Good luck, everybody. Uh, this is worth 12 entries to the quarterly drawing. So let's do it. Bo doubled again. Look at oh. here. See, this is rare now. We ha- remember, so it's going to be worth 24 entries to the quarterly drawing. 24. I can do math quick. Whiskey uncensored. Look at there. Nice. All right. That's plus 12. Let me write that plus 12 down. Stop sharing. I'm going to get the next one ready, but I'm not going to quite post it yet. We've got to hurry, hurry, hurry. Um, okay. Yeah, I know this one. All right. All right, now let me copy this because we are about to switch it over, though, because this is the people um, who got into the halfway mark giveaway tonight, and they are going to get three samples. Somebody, some lucky winner, is going to get three samples from Mark. Shuffle, 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 spin. Good luck, all you supers. Here we go. All right. Who's it going to go to? Looks like Jerry Arbaugh, maybe, 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 no. Uh, Kathy Bates. Kathy again? (laughs) I'm going to put a star by Kathy Bates up here. All right. She gets the three samples. And uh, that's that's it for tonight on that one. Uh, Now I got to get the last hashtag put in. So, hmm, I gotta Oops. look over here at the whiskey bar and figure out what I want to send her. Hmm. This one won <coughs> best single barrel 11 years and up. It is the Elijah Craig 18 year. Woo! Yeah, Jerry, I, I, yep. I set the wheel spin longer because I like the suspense. I hate it when it goes, eh, bam. I want it to tick, 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 tick. You know, real slow. <laughs> it makes it. Yeah. 
But congratulations, Kathy Bates. This month is going to make Kathy Bates like. Oh, man. I already oh. sent her some samples. And she said, I'll send her some more. It to my brother. What? Right there. She said, uh, send it to my... No, she said, Jimmy. Never mind. Jimmy. Talking about Mark or Jimmy or what? Okay. Well. Um, she ought to send me a. Well, she address. said, Jimmy, I don't know if that was uh, what she meant. But we, my, my little 25 alarm went off here in about three. We got three minutes to get this EC18 in here. It's going to be worth 14 entries to the quarterly drawing. Unless it lands on me again, then it's going to be worth 28. Yep. That has happened uh, a couple times tonight. A few times. Mm. I can send it to wherever. I'm enjoying my What's barbecue it? right here. Mm. Oh, Gawani, let me write you down. Gotcha. Oh, it's Jimmy. Got you. Okay. Oh, just right, then, I can do that. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. What Gawani just did. Did you see me put my put me in and, and highlighted me? And over here, I can see it glow red. It's bourbon bounty. Yep. Call attention to it. Uh, make sure, you know, uh, you do big, large caps and ha and at me and all that type of stuff. Yep. For sure, J for Kathy. I can do that. I can send those to Kath, uh, to Jimmy for sure. Not a problem. Yeah, I know, Guani. It's different. Oh, okay. I ain't much okay. on it, but, you know, it'll grow back. She was calling Jimmy her brother by another mother. I get it now. Mm-hmm. I get it now. Not a problem. <laughs> One more minute, guys. EC18. My alarm is going to go off. We're going to be at the two-minute warning. We're going to spin this last one. I think this is going to work out every week. We're going to get these things in. We're going to give three samples away a week. And you also maintain your entries into the quarterly draw or the halfway mark giveaway. I mean, I think this is going to work out. We get some immediate gratification on this stuff, and boom, have a chance to win these. Uh, like it. Win I these like samples. It. And if you want some Ardbeg Oogadol, and and uh, if you don't have any, and you want to eat some uh, brisket burn ends or whatever, uh, I can send you a sample of that too. Mm. But we are at that time. We are going to uh, share the screen and give away these last 14 entries to the quarterly drawing or 28 if it lands on me. Come on, land on me. I dare you. I dare Come you. On. Land on me. Let's see. Me, Big Daddy, Daddy H. H. Oh, finally coming in there for the win. All right. That's 14 entries there. And he's been out horse race gambling. Uh, uh, so, Big Daddy H, how'd you do today? Hmm? Well, you can save that for the after party if you want. But uh, I'm going to bump this out, remove from studio. And we are at 28 after. If anybody wants to come up, uh, we're, we don't hang out long. Uh, I have to work tomorrow. Uh, we hang out for 30, 40 minutes tops. Um, if you want to come up, hit me on Facebook. If you, if we're not friends on Facebook, send me a friend request. Uh, but send me a message on Facebook messenger. Say, Hey, I'd like the link. I can send it to you. Only lost $34 and 50 cents. Well, that's good. But you had a day of fun and only lost 34 50. There you go. It's hey, cheap, 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 cheap entertainment for a whole day's worth of work. Damn you right. Know? Damn right.
But guys, we're at the end of the show here. I'm glad we could fit all this in. Hope y'all had fun and were entertained because I've been entertained up here with y'all. I always look forward to this every single week. Uh, but hey, uh, treat your bourbon well because it will treat you well if you do. There you go. There you go. Holler at me, Jimmy. All right. Later, 